This is an example of the use of at-risk automation applied to stock portfolio optimization. In this application, the user will first define a portfolio of stocks. The second step is to run the analysis for the returns of each security. The application will generate the correlation and covariance matrix as well as basic graphical reports. The third step is to obtain the distributions that fit the historical return of the portfolio. Distributions obtained will be used as a base for predicting gains or loses using a simulation. The last step is to run the optimization process and maximize the portfolio's mean return given certain constraints. Another feature available is to get the efficient frontier of the portfolio. Automation takes the shape of an Excel add-in, which is shown to the user as a new Excel ribbon. The first step is to configure the portfolio information according to a predefined format. Stock symbols, shares, and historical prices should be placed in one table that is going to be selected as the working range. After the range is selected, the user can run the portfolio analysis process. The analysis process calculates the portfolio mean and standard deviation based on the provided historical information. This and other results can be reviewed in the Reports option. Correlation matrix and historical returns for each stock will be obtained. These options can be configured in the Analysis Settings option. Finally, two graphs are also generated, the Historical Returns graph and the Portfolio Allocation graph. Once the analysis is done, each stock's historical return data is fitted into a probabilistic distribution in order to start the simulation process. Fitting will use at risk's best fit capabilities. This configuration screen lets the user select the best fit method that will fit the distribution to the data. As you have seen in the process, the green cells represent the best fit distribution for each one of the securities of the portfolio. Once the feed is done, the user could execute a Monte Carlo simulation process that will combine all the distributions with their weights. The obtained report shows the portfolio return distribution using probability graphs. They show statistics like the mean and standard deviation as markers. In our case, the portfolio we're using has a monthly mean of 0,52% and a yearly expected return of 6,4%. There is also a tornado graph that shows the most significant securities in the portfolio. The last step is to optimize the portfolio and maximize its return. Configuration options will let the user select the range of allocation percentages for each security, in this case 1 to 35% and also a standard deviation limit. The process will generate an optimized portfolio, trying to accomplish these constraints. The Risk Optimizer tool is activated during the optimization. This is a genetic algorithm engine that will rebalance the weights for each stock until reaching an optimal zone for the portfolio solution. Comparison graphs showing both the original and the optimized portfolio will be generated as well as their allocation weights. This will make any rebalancing decision easier. The last step feature is the generation of the efficient frontier for the portfolio. The efficient frontier will be generated as a graph, showing both the frontier in blue and the original portfolio as a red dot. Thanks for your attention. If you have any comments, please contact us at sales at palisade.com or visit our website at www.palisade.com.